Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. Welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from North Ledeg Caravan Park, which is just north of Auburn in Scotland. Let's go and take a look around. <laughs> So we start our journey today crossing over from Armadale on the Isle of Skye and heading for mainland Scotland at Malaig. So we're just leaving the ferry now and heading on to the mainland. After leaving the port we headed for the Glenfinnan Viaduct and stopped and took a quick look at the church just near it and grabbed a coffee and then we arrived at the car park for the Glenfinnan Viaduct. We thought we'd try the main car park but that one was full so Instead, we headed back to the larger car park and parked up there. So we're now pulling into the main car park and got parked up here, no problem. There was a charge of £3.50 for cars or £6 for motorhomes in the car park. There's a little walk then down from the car park, which takes you along a track and to the viaduct itself. So let's start There's a stream that runs near the track alongside the viaduct and Roxy decided to take a dip. If you take the track that heads up under the arch on the left, it takes you above the viaduct so you get a good view across it, which we're just heading up that way now. tried to get a good spot to catch the Jacobite as it comes across. The Jacobite's the train that was in Harry Potter and it comes across this viaduct in the famous movies. There was quite a few people waiting as you can see to grab a shot of the train as it came over the viaduct. What we didn't realise at this point was there was a rail strike and therefore the train wasn't running today. After we realised the train wasn't running, we then decided to take a wander back to the van. On the way back down, Roxy spotted the stream again and decided to go for a little swim. We then headed back to the car park and that concluded our visit to the Glenfinnan Viaduct. Hopefully next time we'll manage to spot the train. We'd made good timing and decided to stop at the Racer Cafe, which wasn't too far away from the North Ledier campsite which we were heading to, and we decided to have a hot dog. It was like an American themed uh, place to stop, which was quite interesting. After our quick pit stop for lunch, we then headed on our way to the campsite. And here we are now, arriving at North Ledeg Caravan Site. We were really fortunate and got allocated a pitch right on the uh, seafront. Let's take a quick look in the facilities block. There's a handy notice board with various bits of information up, a baby and toddler room, there's accessible facilities and there's also a laundry. Let's take a quick look inside the laundry. facilities around the site were very clean and well kept and tidy. 
There was a Thetford cassette empty machine on the site, but unfortunately it didn't look to be operational at the point where we were there, but apparently they're really good for cleaning out your cassette toilet. There was various facilities points around the site to allow you to fill up your fresh water, empty your waste water, or dispose of any rubbish or recycling. There's a children's play area on the site. There's also handy access to walks you can do directly from the site or cycle rides. There's a nice track just off the site and it runs uh, either way. It's badged up as dog walk, um, but you can walk for miles along here. It's a shared use track so you can use it for cycling and walking. It was an old railway line so you can still see some of the bridges and that sort of thing and nice and flat as well. Got open airfield here, just see which is pretty much at the end of the uh, caravan park. There's also the Connell Gliding Club. And here's Open Airport. So after that uh, walk with Roxy, headed into Open Town Centre for a look around. There's plenty of shops, bars and restaurants in Open, and they also did some fantastic fish and chips as well. You can take a ferry from Auburn to places such as Mull. There's also boats you can go for a trip around the bay and the harbour too. So that concludes our quick look around Auburn. And now we're headed back to the campsite where Roxy wanted to paddle in the sea. We then took another walk and this time went in the other direction, so the opposite way to Auburn Airport, 
and wandered down the old railway track which was uh, down this way and that just took us to the end of the campsite and then we wandered back through the site a uh, really nice little wander around After that wander around, we decided to have some burgers for tea. Then Roxy wanted another paddle again. And then we settled in for the night and watched the sun go down over the bay. And then the next morning we were on our way to the Isle of Arran. So we headed off. The last part of the route to the ferry terminal was pretty much a single track road with passing points and that took us over the moors basically down towards where we were catching the ferry to go over to the Isle of Arran. The traffic coming towards us was from the first ferry of the day which we just missed and we were getting the next one so we headed down now to the ferry terminal. And here we are, we've arrived, and we're the first in the queue. How about that? You can just see the ferry in the distance there near the Isle of Arran. So just waiting for the ferry coming in now to take us across to Loch Ranza. And here's the ferry now, landed and is about to unload and then we can board. The cost for the crossing was under £20 for the camper van and two adults. And it's a turn up and go ferry so you can just arrive at the port. The ask is to make sure you're there 10 minutes before departure. And you can find more information on the CalMac website. So we're now just arriving at Loch Ramsar on the Isle of Arran. Don't forget to join us next time for our Isle of Arran video. So Rachel, what did you think? I am probably going to surprise people. Anybody that's ever seen me do reviews before know that I like small quirky sites, etc. Um, this one isn't small. In fact, it's quite large. Um, the largest one we've stayed on. And most of the pictures are in lines. Do you know what? I love it. It is one of the best sites that I've been on. Um, we're very, very lucky. We got this view, so we're shoreside. We are literally a hot skip and a jump onto the beach, which Roxy has absolutely loved. Um, facilities, great. Huge, lots, clean, modern, shop. Got anything and everything you could ever want in a shop. Staff, helpful, friendly. Um, dog walk as well nice safe dog walk completely and utterly blown me away loved it what about you so yes it's a, it, a lovely site it did come highly uh, recommended when i uh, you probably gathered now before visiting sites often look at other people's reviews or 
watch other people's videos on them to work out which sites are worth going to. Your leisure time is really important, so you don't want to actually waste time at sites that aren't great. So I always put a bit of research into it. So I was expecting um, quite highly for that, for, for this particular site, um, and it hasn't let down at all. Really fell on our feet getting the um, front row pitch, but to be fair, all the way up this section of the site, you would get a decent uh, view uh, but you, you can't beat the front row, can you? Because nothing's in the way of it. Had a wander into Auburn, as you can see. When I say a wander, it was a eight mile drive and parked up just near Tesco's in the uh, car park that had motorhome bays. So that, that was nice to have a poke out and you can get all of your essentials or stock up on anything you need uh, in Auburn as well. So quite a, quite a reasonable sized town with all the usual shops and refinements. Uh, the fish and chips were lovely too. Would you go again, Rachel? Would you come here again? Uh, yeah, definitely, 100%. Um, thoroughly recommend it, loved it. Brilliant sight. How yeah, about you? And what, one thing to point out as well, on some of the sites we've been on in Scotland, we have we have had midges. I was just not, I was just scratching my, my hand a little bit there, and we've had none here at all. Probably because we're right next to the the sea, but uh, even on the dog walk, there hasn't been uh, many. So um, I did bump into a couple last night who said they'd stayed at the one at the road, um, which is in a walled garden, and they said that they were bitten dreadfully. Um, so that again is another reason probably to choose this one over the others um, because we haven't been bitten to death here so <laughs> that's good and is it right David you need to I need to check with you that you don't have to be a member of the you don't have to be but you get a discount at this site if you're a member of the uh, camping and caravanning club um, so it saves you a couple of quid a night uh, here so and there's an airport um, just kind of that way um, which is kind of adjoining on the uh, caravan site but it's only small uh, aircrafts and it's quite interesting to watch them uh, little private planes and things like that to the majority of the things flying out of there it's over an airport so there we go so we'll leave it there thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed it and we'll catch you next time bye, bye.